All right, hey everybody. Just wanted to uh, make a video on this because I feel like that um, this is a really good topic to go in depth about because it's it's it seems like it's a kind of hidden this contour down here. It's kind of a hidden feature I think on Cricut Design Space, and it definitely isn't getting the attention that it deserves um, because out of just a simple outlined SVG file like this one here of the silky chicken you can get some really cool details and just really expand your creativity on this and make it into a um, a layered HTV or vinyl or even stenciling project um, by uh, hiding and exposing the um, cut lines that you want just customizes it all together I mean you can do anything as simple as just hide something you don't want like details like the the little lines in this feather if I didn't want that I could I could go in and hide that just by clicking on this and I've got three chickens up there for a reason and I'll share that reason with you later but you go into contour and you can see all of the different cut lines that you you have within this whole chicken and it's a lot a lot more than you would think so you got the the whole chicken right there the outline of the chicken and then you've got these other little details in here starting here are those little marks in the wings the, the feather it indicates feather lines we can take those out real easy by just clicking on here you can also click here but I find it easier to use this just because it's a bigger uh, picture of the whole thing and get you where you need to go so now when I hide this you don't see you see how this one is different than this one so I can also go back in and just click those again and bring them back real easy so if say you have a uh, SVG file that you really like but maybe it's you're gonna have to cut it so so tiny that all those details are lost and it could really mess up the whole project I mean that's a simple way to get rid of cut lines you don't want but here's the real um, power in the contour feature I've got this outline and you know if I was doing an outline or a HTV a layered HTV and I wanted this chicken a color but I don't want him all one color but I also want the outline too that's layers that you are working with each color that you work with is on a different layer so this one would be your topmost of course your outline of your chicken that would go on last but what about say details like this feather back here now silky chickens are usually not very um, you don't have like distinct colors within but I mean this is your imagination is endless so I mean you can have a rainbow chicken for all that goes for all that matters so here's how you would do that so what I'm wanting to take out of this chicken and I just want to cut out of say pink I want this chicken to have a pink afro and all these little details here and here to all be pink so I would I would click this to first of all black out the whole chicken that's what happens here see it just reverses it so now I'll go back into contour and I'm going to hide the features that I don't want cut. So I don't want this part of the chicken to be cut. I'm going to click that. So now what does that do? So now it's only going to cut this, this. Of course, I've already got that here, so I don't need it again. But I might want this to be a color. So I'll go in. And I'm going to hide that part. And let's see what that did. So now I've got 
almost exactly what I want. Gotta take out this beard and this foot. So we're going to take out this beard and that part of the beard and also the beak. There's some tiny, tiny details in that beak that I'm going to show you here. you got to find the beak. Here's the beak right here. Takes that out. This right here, I think, is the nostril take that out. You see how it's lightening up over here? And then there's that. And then you got this little detail right here. I'm not even sure what that's called. But on my chickens that I have, that's kind of a blue color. And I think this is it. Yeah, that's it. And then this detail and this detail. Now i got to find that foot. Scroll down over on this side and see so you can see the foot right there. I think that's it right there. And then the details of the foot, those are disappearing a little bit at the time there. I think that's one. Yeah, this I'm getting them all out now. Okay, now I think I've got everything that I want. And of course I need to take these out. Because I don't want those cut in there. That's the outline. I'll get that with details later. Now, see what I have here? Looks like i got a couple more little things here that need to come out. I can go back to contour and find those. Yeah, it's this little toenail here. That portion of it. There. Now see, I you don't have it doesn't matter what color it is when you're on this on this canvas when you're gonna cut it, because you're just gonna put whatever color you want of your vinyl on your mat. But this is kind of a reminder. So I said I wanted that pink. Alright. So now, look what I can do. I can just line those up. And of course it doesn't matter where, how you line it up on this canvas. It's, it's going to cut and you're going to line it up manually. But you see how I got these little details in here now? The color, I, exactly the color I want them. I can kind of preview and see what the chicken's going to look like. And like, I can even just, just to go over the motions again, you just click contour on the next one. So each chicken is going to cut out a different part of the file. So, you can also go all the way down here. and hide all contours. Let's see what that does to my chicken. Now he's all one solid color. If I wanted a silhouette I could do it like that. But here's what I want. I'm, I'm going to hide all this. Let's see what that's doing. It's just going to give me the outline again. So I need to hide the outline. Go back to contour. show all contours. You just push it twice and it brings it back to its original form. But this is the outline. The 
that you get on that chicken. And then you just go through there clicking what you don't want on there. Which I don't want anything on this one except for the beak. So I'm just going to click everything but that beak. Like I said, you can click it from here or from here. And I already have all these outlines, so I don't need that. I'm clicking all of it except for the little beak because we're going to make that orange which my silkies don't have orange beaks but like I said looks like we got it all except for the beak and there's my little beak see that I don't need to resize it because I don't need it that big, but undo. Looks like. I can go here, change the color to orange. And look at that. So. Now, when I go over here to make it, it's going to separate my chicken up into three mats. One pink, one white, or actually four. One black for the outline. One pink for the feathers. And one orange. Actually, it is three. If I wanted, if I was going to put this on, say, a dark colored fabric, I would need to go ahead and uh, designate a mat for white by doing the same thing I did here except for I take and I need to duplicate my chicken again but just my outline that's all I want I'm going to duplicate it again pull this over here do the same thing And this time, choose what I want to cut out of white. So I want this. Wait, you choose everything but that. Everything but that. Everything but this portion right here and the foot. All these details. And see, there is the portion that I want to be white. So everything else is going to be blacked out except for that. There's the foot. We're not going to mess with that. Okay. And now just twist, uh, switch this color to white. Put this over here. All right. I guess I should have put this in there with it. 
the beard we'll go back put that beard back we wanted that in there there we go so now when I click make it then I will have four I'll have the white right here I'll have my black which is just the outline I'll have the pink which is the afro and the little details there on the feathers and the beak four mats so then what would what you would do then is uh, cut it all out weed it and then start layering you would pro I would probably go with the white first then I would add the pink details and then I would go at go in and add the beak and then I, the last part I would do would be my outline because that's what you want to show up that kind of defines everything and uh, later on I'll do a video on how to do layered HTV step by step just the uh, actual hands-on portion this was just showing you the the creativity of contour and what you can do with it it's just amazing to me I just discovered this by accident and I think it's just awesome so then when of course you get it, you know the way you want you want to save it I suggest saving your project every few minutes just so in case something happens power goes out your battery dies you lose the internet connection somehow you've got it which I've already done this chicken once but I'll go ahead and save it and then you can even go in and add details so that you could share it with Pinterest or Facebook and I've shared several with my class that I had at the Kaimishi Technology Center um, and it's been really fun I, I hope you guys can get a lot out of this tutorial and I feel like it's really a neat feature y'all have a good day I hope it's not raining where y'all are bye bye